Now to this, though. Tonight, an 18-year-old is dead after he was shot and killed at a house party in the Sacramento neighborhood of Natomas overnight. This all happened on Buckman Street in Natomas. The family tells CBS 13, Jeremiah Walker, an 18-year-old Grant High School senior, was at the party when something went wrong. Your reporter, Esteban Reynosa, spoke with a family who now is grieving his loss. Kids, so I called him Juicy J, and he hated that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, he was Juicy J to me, man. Um, Memories once filled with smiles are now painful recollections for Mervyn Brookins. Broken hearted. I'm, I'm broken hearted. I'm discouraged. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. His grandson, 18 year old Jeremiah Walker, was shot and killed in Natomas early Sunday morning on Buckman Street. Gunshots start firing, and, you know, Jeremiah gets hit. And it had nothing to do with him. Sacramento police not giving any more information Sunday night other than the age of the victim. So far, they say no one is in custody and they are still investigating exactly what happened. Brooklyn says it was other teens causing trouble and a straight bullet hit Jeremiah. They want to have a prom. They want to have a good time. They want to do something after the prom because it normally ends early. But there's always a group of kids that want to come somewhere where they're not invited and, and start some bullshit. Jeremiah was a student at Grant High School, and this picture Brookins gave us was of Jeremiah's prom suit, which he gifted him. Twins River Unified School District sent us a statement saying, quote, We will honor Jeremiah's memory by striving to create a safer, more compassionate, and peaceful environment, especially for our children. wake of this tragedy, the district's crisis intervention team will be at Grant Union High School on Monday. Brookins says it's all up to parents to teach their kids right from wrong. Parents need to be accountable for their kids and what they're doing. We need to stop making excuses and own up to the situation that's at hand. So. That was Esteban Reynoso reporting. Uh, Esteban also says someone close to the situation told him a group of students started going around snatching chains off of people's necks. That's when someone fought back. A gun was pulled and a bullet hit Jeremiah.